Tonight, a disturbing story out of Seminole. Deputies arrested a fourth grade teacher after she was caught in class with a loaded gun and two knives. Then school leaders took a look at her Facebook page and became more concerned. Melanie Michael is joining us live from the Pinellas Jail tonight. We're just moments ago. That teacher bonded out. Keith, good evening to you. That fourth grade teacher is indeed out of jail and tonight under investigation. Why did you bring a gun and two knives to an elementary school? Were you going to do anything with them? Ma'am, don't touch me. Absolutely why did you why did you bring a gun on campus? Betty Soto walked out of jail angry, defiant, and unwilling to answer questions. Talk to DeSantis. Talk to the what? Your governor. The fourth grade teacher at Starkey Elementary spent Monday afternoon busted and behind bars, accused of having weapons in her backpack, including a Glock 9mm handgun loaded with seven rounds of ammunition, a six inch fighting knife, and a two inch finger knife. According to deputies, all weapons were in her classroom where students were present. Why did you bring a gun on campus with fourth graders? Why? It's a simple question, Betty. Why would you bring a gun on campus and two knives? When parents like Erica Kennedy heard the news, they were stunned. Shock. Like, complete shock. Like, almost disbelief because I would never expect that at that school. This mom has two children who attend Starkey and describes Betty Soto's behavior as militant and suspicious. Just really a little overboard. So it's like... It made me kind of like something kind of went up in the back of my hair like, hmm? As part of this case, school leaders confirmed they will investigate Betty Soto's Facebook page, including this post, shared publicly, saying in part, Are you surprised that I'm a revolutionary? You should have seen it coming. Hate that I was on my way to the plantation, but I had to free some minds. Betty Soto has been with the school district for three years, and school leaders say she will not be returning to Starkey. We are live in Pinellas County tonight. I'm Melanie Michael, News Channel 8.